It is remarkable to me to think that I've been playing this game since 2012. And we are still playing it today in 2019. We've seen this game evolve and morph drastically over those years to make it more detailed, deep, and more realistic to go for that goal of one of the most realistic zombie apocalypse survival games that you could. And we are now on the cusp of yet another transformation. The animation update has been talked about for literal years, and the way they talk about it and shown the changes, it truly looks like that the game is going to be changing on a fundamental level. And today, I'm here to show you just how much the game has changed with this new update. There's a lot to go over, so I'm not going to kind of go over every little detail and list as we get going. I'm just going to play for a little while, and as changes kind of rear their heads, we'll talk about them if they're important or not. The atmosphere of the game itself has changed drastically as well, and you'll kind of notice that right away. So let's make a new character really quickly, and let's just jump into the game, and I just want to show you everything I can. And we might not cover everything, there's a lot, and we'll leave the mystery of it all for when this game eventually does get its animation update released to the public in a few weeks, since this is still in development and there are still some bugs going on. And when that happens, we'll tell a brand new story that hopefully will last quite some time. So, has there, ch has there been much changed in character creation? A little bit, yes. Um, what we're gonna do though, so I can show off as much of the new stuff as I can, is if we pick Kingsmith, I believe this is a new testing area happening. Uh, these are challenge maps, but I believe it's genuinely just like a, a new map and we can play it. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is pick Kingsmith and we'll pick Construction Worker as always, and we'll just get some nice benefits. And there's some new stuff here, um, but we'll, we'll worry about that another time. It's not, you know, that important, and I just want to get into the main game. Uh, and we'll be Sandra Taylor, and you can already see the model itself is uh, 3D, and it really is vastly improved. But let's just dip into the game. And here we are, the new game, and here's our character, Sandra Taylor, in a house somewhere. We'll have to take a look and see if it even belongs to her. Taking a nice seat, relaxing. We've got some things to do though. We're just gonna survive in this new map for as long as we can, or at least until I feel like I've shown off enough. And as you can see, the new animations rear their head immediately. It's a very different feeling game in every single regard. The way the character has weight and presence now, momentum as they walk, turning on a dime is no longer impossible. You have to account that momentum will come into play. It can feel a little clunky, especially to start, uh, reminiscent of The Witcher 3 before they added the opportunity to add the optional controls, something that I did when I played Witcher 3 because I think it improved the experience. The Witcher 3 felt a little awkward with its fast-paced combat system and action uh, oriented kind of gameplay, but with that weirdly momentum based movement. And something like Project Zomboid, it does, you know, feel more appropriate. You have to adjust and you have to think. The game is a much slower uh, paced game now with this new update, but let's go ahead and quickly take a look and we'll talk a little bit about it. Um, well, you'll see what, it, what I mean when uh, we start looking around and running around looking for zombies to fight and check uh, areas to check out, but you're a physical thing in this world, and you are going to be pulled down by zombies. They can grab you, yank at you, make you trip and fall, all that stuff, which makes them much more dangerous in small groups than they ever were. No longer does everything swing like a baseball bat and you can hit multiple zombies at once. They are also physical things in this place, so they can as well uh, take a hit, but it stops the weapon dead in its tracks there's nothing else you can do once the weapon hits one of the zombies. You don't get to hit like three or four of them. Uh, so we've got no, <laughs> not a good start here as far as uh, items are concerned. Food anyway. So we're just gonna take this pie and let's see, do we have a key? We do not have a key to this place. So let's get out of here. We got a nice sliding door. And it looks like we're in some sort of public park area. Unless this is like I'm in a rich person's house. So a nice pool over here. And one thing we can immediately see is the new cutaway system when you look into buildings. It cuts away much more like The Sims do, and they've kind of compared it to that in the past. It works. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, there's new animations to opening windows and all that good stuff. And uh, crawling through also is an entirely different animation. We'll show all of that stuff off as time goes on. Well, we, we broke the lock from the outside. That's fine. Well, we don't want to be here. Ah, we've got a couple of zombies. 
three or four, and looks like she's seen us. So let's let her come to us. And uh, you're gonna see the clothing system immediately is a different. All the zombies have much more vibrant, realistic clothing. And anything you see them wearing, much like before, you can take off of them. Down she goes. Took a lot of stomping, and where you're stomping is important. So, um, if we take a look, hey, she has a jacket, and you might notice something. What is that bite defense, scratch defense thing, Mathis? Well, I'm glad you asked. With this update, a lot of things are being added and a lot of things are changing, but one of the big things is a protection system. While your first line of defense should always be your own patience and awareness of the area, keeping space, if that fails or you get caught off guard, you have protection now. Each piece of clothing provides a percentage of protection against scratching and biting, scratching always being higher, biting always being lower. And if you want to, you could dress up in all this stuff and kind of create layers of armor on yourself through thick clothing. Now, if you do that during the summer, you're gonna overheat yourself and all that stuff, but it's a, it's a good, important addition. So we're gonna grab this jacket and you can see she actually bends down to pick it up put it over ourself and ooh, that's kind of slick. I don't think its condition was great. Eh, it's less than half, but it's better than nothing. And you can see also movement speed modifier, run speed modifier. The more stuff you put on, the slower you're going to move. You have to pay attention to what you're wearing. That's something you didn't really have to think about before. So we want to get over to this house if we can. Ooh, they get up real quick. Uh, you might notice that I stop crouching when I'm trying to uh, reposition myself. You move a lot slower when you're doing the sneaking maneuver now. It's much, much, much slower. Let's go over here and push. Get down, please. And we might see a zombie like tripping over um, or stumbling over the barrier over there. That's something that happens too now. They don't just hop over it like you used to. Zombies like walk into it and kind of slide over the side and topple over head first. It's really, really cool. And you're gonna see little scenes of zombies leaning against buildings and zombies, uh, a group of zombies around a corpse eating a corpse. All that stuff adds just this atmosphere that you kind of had implied in the old builds, but aren't, you know, you really don't think about until you see it. When you, when you see it in action, you're playing with it, it's, you, you then come to the realization like, wow, all that stuff that you told yourself was happening in the world, maybe with some scripted audio cues, now you see happening. Ooh, they can come through the bushes. That's interesting. All right, so we've gotten three zombies. I just want to get in here, so we'll just push him over, hope nobody else comes around. And because of the way the models work, I feel like I absolutely... Okay, he just got up. Come on, on the ground. Come up. I think we'll just have to start stomping him here. Uh, but because of the way the combat works, being closer, I really enjoy much more now. It looks better up close. Not that the other models looked bad, but let's be honest, they were, looked a little drab and a little simple. Uh, the clothing particularly really had no variation beyond pastels. Now though, everything feels more lived in and more real. Let's take a look. Anybody in here? TV? Just want to make sure we're clear in the kitchen area. Alright. Let's see if we can get ourselves a weapon or something. A knife. A saucepan will work. We're gonna see a zombie, I think, uh, start bashing up against the window. Yeah, that's an animation you're familiar with, but it's not the only one anymore. And we can't let them bash on it too long, or, I, or we can't sit here and let them bash on it too long without leaving, because eventually they're gonna bust it down and pile through, and they're gonna be drawing attention with all the noise. Let's go out the door. Get out of here. The saucepan is gonna be different. So like I said, no longer do you swing things like baseball bats. Everything has its own like proper weight and swing now. So if you're gonna swing with a saucepan, for instance, you're gonna use one hand and that's just how it is. You can't equip it in both hands, I don't think anymore. Yeah, nope. Um, and the condition of this is terrible. Terrible, terrible starting condition. I don't know what this place is like, but there's a zombie. He's got a sweet hat. Uh, let's, let's fight him. I'll show you what the animations now for this. The other thing too is zombies have models now, so the more you beat them in the face and stuff, their skin's gonna start peeling away and expose skull. But there you go, that actually was a much quicker fight. We might... Oh yeah, let's wear the hat. Because you can. You gotta look dope. There we go. Uh, there's a tree moving there. Two or so zombies over here. Somebody at the door. All right, let's pop in here. 
Hello. Ooh, this one's skull's already showing. Ooh, the bushes are moving, but it might be because the blood is hitting them. Ooh, he's not going down. And there goes my saucepan. Busted already. Wow. All right. Well, I think that was just blood hitting the bushes. Really like another weapon. Locked. Let's see if we can get the window open. All right, you know what? Fine, smash it. That works. I'm bleeding. Oh no. Sit on ground. I can't remove the broken glass. Oh no. I have cuts. Oh crap. So I probably just gave myself a bunch of cuts here. Okay. Well, let's see. Socks. Let's grab it. Let's grab the pants. We're gonna rip the pants because they don't look bloody. So let's take these, uh, pants, rip them up. So you can see they're doing a nice ripping animation now, which is really cool. And we're going to apply our bandage on our forearm to at least stop the bleeding. Fill our broken saucepan, I guess. Something to drink from. At least we can use it for water gathering. Let's go ahead and eat this pie. And now there's a nice eating animation too, and you can walk and eat and still do the animation, which is really cool. Frying pan, let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll actually grab the saucepan as well, just as a backup. One thing I'd really like is to find a backpack too, because you get to see the model uh, on the character now. Let's grab a knife. We can craft some interesting ooh, seed bag. Uh, we don't need that right now. You can craft, weapons are very, very important now. You need to be crafting um, some interesting weapons. If you go into here, you can see uh, if we do, is it under survival? So yeah, you can see a uh, butter knife to a spear. You just need a crafted spear and some duct tape and you can create like a long spear. It's just really cool. There's like a lot of things you can do now. Oh, we should check for medicinal supplies. We at least some painkillers. We don't know if there's anybody in here either, so we should be very careful. You can see me taking wide turns because you have to take your momentum has to like slow down. You can't just stop on a dime anymore. And if you're going to do like a quick turn while running, he's got to do kind of like a skirt. All right, nothing here anymore. Let's keep going. We don't want to exhaust ourselves. I've died in this build already just pure from purely from exhausting myself. Corpse on the ground. A couple patches here. These don't. These houses don't seem to seem don't seem to have too much, so I'm, we're just gonna go. Ooh, looks like we have a patch behind us. Yeah, the way they wander in Rome now, they look so cool because they also have different animations. You can see over here, one slumped up against the building. Different idle animations for them. Turning around is still a very dangerous prospect, especially if you want to whip around really quickly. You kind of have to go wide arc. It's the best way to do it. Got one following us. I want to use the frying pan real quick. Come on. Down on the ground. Get up on the ground. Oh, that was really sick. I love that. I love that you can, you know, you can bop him over the head like that. Get off. Whoa. She bit me so fast. That was so quick. Okay, we got to kill these real quick. I think I got bit. If I got scratched, we might be all right. Ugh. Wow, that was really fast. Uh, let's take a look. We were bitten, so we're dead. You can see the bite here. We're bleeding out. We're just going to have to let it go. We'll remove the bandage. In our first attempt, you can see how quickly I ended up dying. We'll leave this. I don't know how Dino ended up this particular first run, but let's go out showing how the groups take you down. I'll show you trying to run through a group and how they can grab at you and they slow you down, and you can bump into them, and oops, you tripped, Ugh, get up! And that would almost been my death there. Ugh, down I go, and then, oh, my legs! You can see I got a big old bite mark on my chest too where they bit me, they ripped the clothes off. Come here, no, no! Oh, she's being tackled to the ground, and boom, dead. I see one is eating me, killed 10 zombies.
Now yeah, get up. Zombie with the rest of them. Meet Kevin Peterson, the next guinea pig in my experiments, unfortunately for him. And we're in West Point as well, deciding to go to a more familiar map, but we're using the typical survival uh, settings. No custom settings or anything quite yet. And we're just going to play around a little bit longer, this time with the map I'm a little bit more familiar with. And hopefully it'll end up doing us some good. But you can see how quickly things can go south. Um, I was not expecting to get bit that quickly. I'm still not used to how fast everything happens, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. It's just uh, surprising still. Catches me off guard. All right, we're just grabbing some very useful tools and let's go ahead and drink and fill the bowl that we got. I love that he at least holds the bowl in his hand now. We don't need anything to disassemble, not quite yet. And with a bread knife, can we, we can't fill the jar, huh? Can I open the jar? Do I need to open the jar? No. All right, that's fine. There's still so much to show off. And again, I will never, I will not be able to show everything off in one video. I'm going to edit it, obviously, too, to keep out the, the boring bits or if anything breaks. But um, the other, the other thing is, too, I don't want to play too much because I don't want to get, like, I want to get a good understanding for the game, but I personally don't want to get quote unquote too good at the game too quickly, especially for our first playthroughs. All right, golf club. This goes in both hands. I'm not going to worry about it grabbing a flashlight yet, but now we've got a nice golf club and a two-handed weapon. This is going to operate quite differently than how the uh, the saucepans and stuff did. So we got a zombie over here, and we'll just start hitting some houses looking for useful things. The range is much better. Four, bitch! Down you go. That's a little bit more familiar. It's still not quite as clean of a swing as it used to be. Uh, you know, when I golfed all the time, but also not like, not like in the old build where you could just baseball bat swing your way to victory. All right, we've got a couple of these over here. If there's only them, then I'm game. Let's just see if there's anything. Yeah, I was worried there was some over here. Thought I heard a thumping. Yep, there's somebody bashing on a window somewhere. And we, yes, yeah, wear the hoodie, the v-neck. Yeah, they're bashing on this door here, I think, inside. It's all right. We're just going to pop here real quick. Okay. Nothing too scary in this zone that we can't handle. I'd like to try... Ah, oh, there's three of them. He's got nice... This guy's looking dapper as hell. His clothes look like they're in great condition. You can kind of tell how good a condition they are just by looking at them, which is awesome. So if there's something you really like and it looks like it's a good condition, if you can make, if you can get it, it's awesome. Let's back up. Whoopsie, see how I slowed down? She grabbed me for a second. This guy's got a cowboy hat. Oh no, he's got like a bowler. Helmet? Bicycle helmet maybe? If it's a helmet, it's great. Oh, there's so many. This guy's skull is exposed. Her leg is all awful. We'll take a, we'll take a, a quick turn around here in a moment. I actually prefer to go south. Hordes just look more natural now. They don't all look like copy-paste zombies doing the same thing. They're just kind of approaching you as they, as a horde in a Romero-esque or Walking Dead-esque type of a setting would, which has always been their goal. And they've really, really come through on it this time. It's, it's awesome. Sprinters aren't in this build, but they will be coming at some point, I assume. Here's the uh, market area. We're gonna pop north. There's another one leaning against a building there. Ooh, another one. If it's just them. Uh, we can hop double wide, uh, double tall fences now too. I don't think zombies can. Oh my God, there's so much blood over here. Let's see if it leads anywhere. If it's just you. Ooh, he went right down. The skull's like wide open. Ooh, I want that and that we're gonna run in a minute this is very greedy but I think we got it yep 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 okay so if we can use this gun which we're gonna try and find a quiet place oh my god uh, and try and show you I'm gonna show you how the guns have changed as well they're much 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 more detailed in that you have to actually eject the the magazine fill the magazine with bullets oops bumping into zombies is bad don't do it and then put the, the magazine back in. So this, I've picked up guns that don't have magazines. So if I don't have a magazine, then this is useless. I'm hoping he has a magazine in his pistol because uh, 
the fire, the firing, and the, the gunplay in this game is vastly improved. It's an actual way to know how well you're aiming and who you're aiming at. And you can immediately start to tell if your skill is affected. All right. Let's relax here. While this is happening, insert magazine. That's not a good sign. I mean, think don't think we have a magazine then. Let's pop it in our hand real quick. Yeah, no magazine. I can't put individual bullets in. So without a magazine, we can't do anything with this pistol. We have three-fourths of what we need, basically. Let's get this in both hands. For now, I'm just kind of using my peripheral vision to keep an eye on where I'm seeing anomalies while I mess with my inventory and avoiding them as best I can. And I'm also trying not to sprint anymore. I know we're in slight panic mode. I just don't want to exhaust myself because that will get you killed. There's zombies everywhere in this particular setting and that's going to cause an issue. Locked. I want to get by these guys without drawing too much attention. I just don't think it's going to happen. We've really had a rough start here. Nothing too safe. Yeah. I immediately sprinted and they all were like, oh, I heard something. I should know better. All right. Maybe we'll head more north and south. The panic has uh, subsided. Okay. It's a little bit more uh, manageable out here. Two-story family buildings is nice, too. Plenty of opportunity for loot. But buildings are much more dangerous than they've ever been. Uh, these way, the way the zombies works and the physics work, going into a confined quarters with the zombie is horrifying and not something you want to do. Also, garage door is now open, so you can actually park your cars in garages. All right, let's see if I can take these guys around the corner here and do a quick whack. If I can get one to fall over quickly, yeah, not gonna happen. Come up. I'm trying to see if I can get them on the ground. Okay, we just didn't hit him. It's unfortunate. Oh my god. It's alright. We were swinging down, but we were so far away we weren't hitting the model. Wasn't taking any damage. Hey, girl. Yeah, let's. This is fine. We can take her down. Or him. It looks like it's him. Now that I hear his voice, he's got dope hair. Big fan. Can you just go down? Okay, you actually just died, which is good. Vitamins. Ooh, hello. Did you hear something? You heard something too. I hear somebody in. Oh, he's banging on the door. Ooh, they both are. And you can see new animation. <laughs> one's kind of like just pressed up against the other one's using his fist. Three outside. Every house seems to have about six zombies around it. And it's, uh, it's causing me some problems because I am in no way equipped to deal with that many of them. Good lord. One at a time I can do more than that and it gets to become a huge issue. Through the trees. There. A boarded house is a tempting one always, but not one we can really afford to be going to right now. Can we get inside? Yes, we can. Climb in. Quickly turn it. Turn it. Close it. There's a whole friggin' animation now. Close the curtains just in case. They stop looking. Whoa! 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 All right, Robert Green. Third time's the charm. Sorry, you're listening to something here. We gotta turn this fish off in case it attracts attention. Small little house out in West Point, it looks like. Let's go ahead and equip this as our primary weapon. And hope we have some sort of, ooh, a kitchen knife. So this is important. Actually, this is something I wanna show off. The instant zombie kill that we're so used to and is so damn good isn't as good anymore. It's still good, it's still instant kill, but it's slower and it leaves you very vulnerable for a while. And we'll see, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Let's 
go ahead and stash some water. Good, good, good. Don't think there's anything here in the starting house as always, but we might as well see if we've got any carrying tools. No, just some lipstick. It's all right. Where are we? Couple zombies over there already. One over here. If I can just take his cowboy hat, I will. And this might be a, uh, hopefully a good opportunity to show you how this works. So it's, you know, we got stabbing motions with the knife. It's, we have to wait for them to get close. Ugh. Okay, didn't do it. There it is. And that's how much slower it is. It may not seem like a lot, but that's significantly slower. So we're gonna grab her hoodie here. And we got an annotated map. Let's take a quick read. West Point. We know where the police station is, so it's there. I just don't know off the top of my head where we are. If we can orient ourselves, we might be able to hit the area she marked. Maybe we'll get some guns or something. But if we can get to the police station, who are we at the school? Yeah, let's see if we can clear out some Zeds here. I don't know if we can do anything from behind. Done. Painkillers is a great grab. If this is the school, we just need to know where we are. Because if we can get to the police station, we can show up and over uh, some gunplay, hopefully. Yeah, I'm thinking this is the school. This is exactly what this is, okay. So we're pretty clear here, so let's actually just take a look in the middle of this. Uh, so here's a school. Um, I imagine... We need to bang her right out here, and it's like the second house in. And then we can get near the police station. So let's see. Because it shows, does it, does the school show... Yeah, this is exactly what we want to do. We want to go out here and go right and just follow it down. There's going to be a big field. And we should be all right. All right, good. We have actually some direction here where I have an, a goal to go to and I can hopefully show off. Up and over. Wow, there's just so many of them. Alright, well, we'll have to make our way through. If I can just pull them maybe around the corner. I'm actually very close. I don't know if I can kill the line of sight on both of them and only pull one. If I go around, I might lose them. Hear him. Yeah, he got stuck on the door. Didn't I want to grab a cowboy hat off of somebody and I completely forgot? I'm a genius, really. Gonna bang a hard. Oop, nope. Nope, not gonna bang a hard right there. Just keep walking. We're alright. Don't let the music scare you. It's a nice store with food if we were to go long term here. I used to have a base in a really old series on this side of the street over here. We might be able to do a drive-by looting of this body, see if there's anything valuable. Muldrow map, well, we will never be making it to Muldrow, so... I think this is the house over here. Like, it's either this one or this one, I'm pretty sure. So many. We'll pop out. No, it's a little bit further. It's the second house over here. I'm cutting into the woods real quick because I, I accidentally pulled a little patch over there. So if I pop into the woods and just kind of go through this way. Oh no. So I think it's going to be this, the second house here. There's an, if there's a limited number of zombies, we should be good to pop in. We could probably clear a good chunk of them out. Ok, 
Okay. It's one. If not, I will go around. We'll run back. And then we'll loop around again. We'll take a little bit of a wider berth this time. And we'll cut across and run into those trees, too. So far, it's working okay. As long as we stay in an area where I can see uh, mostly what's ahead of me, then I'm happy. Yeah, see, most of them are migrating that way. Yeah, we definitely grabbed a bunch. All right, let's get back down close. Our sweater's not looking great. We'll pop it off. Drop it. We may have the ability now, though, to clean up those who get close. We're gonna try and do... I'd like to not have to have them as close as they are. She's a little faster, so I'm actually gonna see if I can lead her. Come on. There we go. Now you. Beautiful. Still doable, still very doable, it's just difficult. So this is supposedly the house, right? In. Bullets are good. Take a quick look at the map. Also, I might be over here, but I don't think I am. No, I am. I'm too far. I need to be where the, the where the road turns into a corner. Oh no, that's exactly where I am. Let's check the refrigerator. Holy crap! My machete. Yes, please. This is a new weapon. And two duffel bags, which you're gonna get to see. Oh my god, there's so much good stuff. Okay, we've got a machete. Let's see if there's anybody here that's a zombie. Closets are always a place where people like to get stored. Lead pipe, which we can use as a weapon now, by the way. I'm afraid I heard. Let's turn the music off. There's some great new tunes, don't get me wrong. Medical supplies? This is super great. Okay. My only concern is upstairs now. We might have ourselves a nice little safe hovel. Close the curtains. I hear them out there. The new zombie sounds are so good, dude. One room at a time. I'm telling you, the new engine and everything, it makes creeping around houses so much scarier. Hello? We're good. We may need to go outside and deal with the zombies out there. If they get close, there's one that's just kind of hanging around. But the big thing I want to do is show you the backpack system now. It's not much changed. It's just the nice visual flair of it. So if we go over here into the refrigerator. So we've got guns in one. So we're going to equip this on our back. Boom, baby. It's on our back. We actually have a duffel bag on our back. Uh, let's start throwing as much of our inventory in there as we can. Except for the bowl of water. And the bag it goes. I love it. And you can see them on zombies too now and stuff. It's super, super great. What do we have in here? Ho oh, ho ho. A shotgun and a baseball bat. We've got two machetes. Yikes, this is a great start. I'm so mad, because <laughs> I'm not going to be keeping it. Equip is our secondary. 
This doesn't, well, I don't think this will show up. Because it kind of, like, it's supposed to be over your shoulder, but it would look kind of silly. The weight of these duffel bags, the weight reduction of the duffel bags isn't great, but I'm just going to take what I want out of this. Take all the ammo, and we'll drop this extra duffel bag. We don't need it. Yeah, that's fine. So the one that's equipped is a secondary. And I love that I can hover over and actually quickly see what's in it, by the way. Also great. Drop it. Alright, so we've got a machete now, but let's play around with the gun. Because I haven't shown off the gun yet. So we're going to take the gun out. Uh, we only have a shotgun, but we've got a bunch of shells. So we have to rack the gun now before you can shoot it. Uh, let's pop open the box of shells. Let's insert shells into the gun. Four, five, six. Be beautiful. And here's the gun now. So, obviously there's a ton of new guns in the game and they all have a different kind of, uh, they all work a little differently. But now if I shoot and I aim, once I'm within range, I believe is how it works. Yeah, see how it's green? Green means I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit and I'm gonna hit hard. If it's not green and it's red, you have to wait for it to happen. I think shotguns, because of the way they work, uh, because they're so close range, they're always going to be green. So hang on, let's equip this back as our primary because I want to try the machete real quick. And I do not want the shotgun to go off quite yet. Oh my god, here they come. There's actually a lot of them. Well, maybe we should just use the shotgun, right? I got to swing the machete. Oh, it's so... Oh, and he went right down. Oh, that's satisfying. Move. She's m not much faster, but she's faster enough. Ooh. I wonder if the bag gives me protection. It doesn't. Not sure how you would do that, but... Oh, now there's three of them. Four of them. It's alright. Not too worried. I love the machete already. It kills so quick. No hair, lady! Get down! Get down. Eh. Eh. Beautiful. That's so satisfying. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we want to see shotgun? Let's play with it a little bit. Now that we've got some machete action in, let's wrap this sucker up with the shotgun. Oh, that's so satisfying. The sounds are nice. It's me, baby! Knock, knock, who's there? Daddy Mathis. Can I help you? Excuse me. Gather round, all ye faithful. Let's go ahead and pop some bullets in. And now, yeah, we, we've called in the feeding grounds. But I hope you see how different this game is. You're going to be managing your body temperature, your hunger, your thirst, all that good stuff as always. But really, this is just to showcase the, the fundamental background changes. We haven't dived deep into the crafting system, which clearly has seen an overhaul. But when we play our full series, we will. I promise. Okay, let's move. There's so many. This is such a good... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Getting a little greedy with the shots. Just love looking at the horde. Let's get some more shotgun shells in. Ooh, somebody devoured down to the skeleton because the models have skeletons now. Okay, back around. Gotta do a wide arc. Uh-oh. What? Get off me. Ooh, she grabbed my shoulder. What happened? Rack it. Just wasn't racked. I thought he racked it automatically. See, I love how I shot him, but I only blew back a part of that dude's shoulder, and he just kind of stumbled. And up close, man. You really look like a survivor now. The blood that covers you. Your clothes that get destroyed and hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Down you go. 
Oh, hey, how's it going? How many have we called? Let's see. I want to see the horde size. Pretty friggin' big. Excuse me. Running between zombies now is so much scarier. You can trip. Uh-oh. Do I have any more? One, two, come on. Crack it. Beautiful. Yeah, see, some are getting pulled away. I'd love to have that police outfit from Michael Garcia. If only. If only. When the end is near, go out with a bang. Am I out? Still got a couple. That's it. Two more shots. You know how we gotta go. Oh my god. Look at them all! Look at them all, man! Wow! This is crazy! Oh my god, I didn't even kill him. My panic is killing me really bad with my aim. Time to put the gun away. Machete only! Oh my god, really? It's gonna be the one? Come on. Did I get bit? Scratched. Damn it, man. Disinfect it. Disinfect it. Quickly. I got scratched on the head. Let's put some adhesive bandages on that, you know? Slap a little boo-boo band-aid on there. Oh, I just took it out, I think. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's actually wrapping it around his head. That's adorable. Get out of here. Not looking so hot, are you there, Mr. Robert Green? He's starting to slow down. Your high exertion. You have some painkillers, at least. <sighs> Hopefully here we'll show some respite. Door unlocked. Lucky you. Is this where I started? Did I actually get all- did I just do a freaking turnaround? Whew. Let's go ahead and close those curtains. We're a mess. An absolute mess. Okay. Hello. So I think, unfortunately, this is where we're gonna have to leave good old Robert Green. Not quite dead, but barely clinging to life. With a ripped open shirt and a duffel bag full of weapons, his own confidence got the better of him. The Horde wasn't the problem. It was the one he approached with the machete, thinking he would have no issues, but he moved too quickly for him. Ripping a chunk out of his skull with his fingernails, clawing away at some of that skin, leaving him to wonder if he himself will become one of them. It usually acts quickly, so one can hope that he can get his vengeance before he turns. And if he doesn't, then he can feel better that he's about cleaning up the streets that he's going to be inhabiting for some time. Machete has certainly become a nice friend to him very quickly, though. Farewell, Robert Green. And we'll see you guys with this update sooner than you think.